Hey, good morning, Parkside. Welcome to this week's encouragement video. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, last night, we were together as pastors uh, discussing the business of the church, praying over you, the people of the church, seeking to, to love and to lead God's church well. And, and in the midst of our meeting, Pastor Jared uh, read a portion of Isaiah 46 that encouraged me last night. It's encouraging me this morning. And I just want to share with you what he shared with me, because uh, I think it's going to strengthen you today. I think it will encourage you and help you to, to live by faith today. Here's what Isaiah 46, uh, starting in verse 3, says, verses 3 and 4. Listen to me, O house of Jacob, all the remnant of the house of Israel, who have been born by me, God caused their birth from before your birth, carried from the womb, even to your old age, I am he, and to gray hairs I will carry you. I have made, and I will bear. I will carry and I will save. In other words, God says, look, I am your God from before you were born, throughout your whole life and beyond your death. I've promised to carry you along the way. I've promised to be with you along the way. And so, so there are days where uh, it may feel like an absolutely terrible day. It may not just feel that way. It may be that way. Or there may be fairly, fairly boring, mundane, just check the box, keep moving forward, keep uh, keep walking ahead kind of days. There may be great days, but in all of them, you can know that God is the same God from before you were born, all through your life, beyond your death. And he's with you and he cares for you. He will carry you, he says. He will save you. Now, in the, in the middle of, of trying days, that is some serious encouragement to know that he's not lost sight. The question though is, do you live in light of that? Because it's pretty easy to know that's true but live like you're on an island, like you're off on your own. And so my encouragement to you is as you're going through that the day today, keep an active remembrance. My God is with me. My God cares about the details of my life. My God is strengthening me for the task at hand because he is. He promises that uh, and we need to live in light of that. Mark said, this Sunday, I'm, I'm awfully excited for a few things. Uh, one, we get to welcome some people into membership, and uh, that will be really exciting, so you'll want to be here for that. We're also introducing a new song, uh, a hymn that I love. It's about 300 years old, uh, and one of the things I love about it is it's focused on the cross, for sure. The, the title of it is See the Destined Day Arise. You can see the link to it in the uh, in the email here. Um, but the other thing I love is it is so singable for the human voice. You know, the, the scriptures say that we're to encourage one another, to instruct one another in song. Uh, and so the songs we sing need to be written in such a way that regular Joes can actually belt it out and sing it. Uh, and the chorus especially here, I think is just wonderful for the human voice, especially for uh, the men of the church to sing. Uh, so men, I want to hear you this Sunday. Sing it out. Uh, check out that link in the email. There's also a couple of links in the email uh, for articles on cremation and burial. We talked about that last Sunday. Uh, I hope those are helpful for you. Certainly there are other good resources. These are not the only good ones. Uh, but I hope it's helpful for you to think through what that looks like in living in light of God's word. Parks said, I love you. I am excited to uh, serve and to be your pastor. I look forward to seeing you this Sunday. Have a great day.